You gotta be careful. Ah, face full of tree. It is new bike day. And today, what we've got here is the Pucky Puppy Boxer. And right off the bat, one thing that I like about this bike is that it has dual suspension. We've got suspension right here. Then we've got our front fork suspension as well. So this is gonna make for a very comfortable ride, no matter who you are. I am about six feet tall, so this is a tall bike. Take a look at this suspension. That is very, very squishy suspension. So we've got the front suspension and the rear suspension. So this bike is gonna make for a very comfortable ride. This bike has a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery with a maximum range of 80 miles. And of course, this is just one battery, so it's really gonna depend on how you ride this bike. But I tell you guys what, the way I ride, I am not getting 80 miles out of this battery. You get two keys along with it. Very easy to take this battery out, which of course this battery is removable. It is integrated into the frame of the bike. So now we'll just stick your keys in there give it a twist you can see the battery pops out and this one actually has a mechanism that stops the battery from just falling right out of the bike you actually have to turn this little knob here and then the battery will come out so here's the battery good size good weight about what you would expect from an e-bike this style but like i said 48 volt 20 amp hour you can get about 80 miles maximum range with this bad boy very easy to put back into the bike you just gotta line it up, get that bottom part in first, just like that, pop it back up into place, and you are all good to go. Plus, you've got this port right here. All you gotta do, open this thing up, and then you can charge the battery while it is still inside of the bike, which is always, in my opinion, an essential feature on an e-bike. You don't always wanna have to take your battery out in order to charge it. The rear suspension shock right here is a Pucky Puppy brand. So I don't think it's any specific brand, but overall it's a very nice looking rear suspension and it makes for a very comfortable ride. So now while we're talking about the comfort of this bike, it comes with a very nice seat. This is probably the nicest seat that I have seen on an e-bike, very large, look at my hand, and it's very, very squishy. Like you are not gonna get sore riding this bike around for long periods of time. And then you've got the little cutout right in the middle so that way you can get airflow in there so you don't get all sweaty and gross. But I mean, just take a look at the size of the seat compared to the bike. I mean, that is a giant seat. And I'm not complaining, it's super comfortable. It does have some built-in suspension on there as you can see right here. So that's gonna make for an even more comfortable ride aside from the front and the rear suspension on this bike. 26 by four inch knobby fat tires on this bike. So it's gonna be great not only for commuting, but also for taking on pretty much any terrain that you wanna take this thing out on. You've got the typical kickstand here that you see on most e-bikes on the market. The rear hub motor is a brushless motor, also branded Pucky Puppy on there with a peak power of 960 watts. And next to that, we've got the seven speed Shimano Turney derailleur, which does not have a derailleur guard. So if you're watching this Pucky Puppy, you should probably start putting derailleur guards on your bikes because they're one of the most important components to have on your e-bikes. That way these guys right here don't get damaged because they are pretty dang fragile. You've got a very nice looking silver chain on this bike. And I always like silver chains. I mean, look at that. It really sticks out when you're looking at it. You get a single sided chain guard. So that way your chain is not gonna fall off of this side of the bike. Pretty important to have on there. And then moving up the frame right here, it looks like this is where you would mount a water bottle holder. Up on the handlebars, you get a thumb throttle right here and the thumb throttle goes to 20 miles an hour. And then when you ghost pedal this bike with its cadence sensor, it goes up to 28 miles an hour, which is this bike's max speed. The bike also has hydraulic brakes, which like I say in all my videos, is a must have for any e-bike, especially considering they go so fast. The hydraulic brakes power the 180 millimeter rotors on the front and 
on the back of the bike. You get a nice little headlight that you have to install yourself, which is also hardwired into the system. So you can turn that headlight on right here on the controls. All you gotta do is push the headlight button and it turns on. But the bike does not come with a hardwired tail light. So this tail light you gotta stick on yourself right onto the seat post and you gotta turn it on yourself, which is a bummer, but that's all right. Not a big deal if you ask me. You've got the ergonomic grips on the handlebars, so that way you're gonna have a comfortable ride for long distances. You can just rest your palms on those and your hands won't get sore, especially with that thumb throttle over there, because sometimes when you use those twist throttles, your hand can get sore after riding for a long period of time. But now I share this part just for you guys. This bike should not have any issues going up inclines, but we will find out in the test ride. The brake handles are very nice, a good size. They aren't squishy. And with the hydraulic brakes, they're gonna be very powerful. The front suspension fork has a lock and an unlock, so you can't really adjust it, but that's okay. I don't know why anybody would lock their suspension fork, but it's there. And you do also get this guy right here kind of hard to turn but there we go you can mess with that I can confidently say that this suspension fork does a great job absorbing the bumps that you're gonna hit on the road same with this rear suspension that's gonna do an amazing job when it comes to bumps on the road and going off-road and here's the pedals that they send you with the bike nothing to write home about they're plastic so you might want to replace these pedals at some point but they do a good job for now and this is what the hydraulic brake calipers look like branded logan so this is a logan hydraulic brake system the frame on the bike is very nice and very thick so this thing should not get damaged at all and it should last you a very long time this bike is gonna have tons of longevity i'm not sure if i installed the display incorrectly but it is kind of far forward i'll have to look into that and see what i can do we're gonna turn it on now real quick and see what it looks like. Boots up with a hello, and here is what the display looks like. Not too bad. But this definitely is a good looking bike. I mean, just look at it. So now that we went over all of the specs of the Pucky Puppy Boxer, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what it was like to assemble this bike. And I tell you what, it was a good amount of work. So we had to put the front wheel on, we had to put the display on the handlebars ourselves. we had to put the handlebars on, we had to put the front light on, we had to attach the kickstand, put the rear light on, front wheel, I think I already said that. But it is definitely a little bit more assembly than other e-bikes. All the components on the bike seem to be high quality. These geese keep flying over us and interrupting our video, but that's okay because nature is beautiful. Isn't that right, geese? But so far, I'm impressed with this boxer by Pucky Puppy. The suspension feels great, the power on it feels good, and the build quality of the bike also seems top notch. If you guys are looking for an e-bike for commuting, going to school, work, you name it, this is gonna be a good option. Even if you just wanna go out and have some fun, because this is a very comfortable ride with the dual suspension, the cushy seat, you can't go wrong with this e-bike. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you, Pucky Puppy, for sending this awesome bike over for us to check out and review on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.